everything's always fucked up because we are fucked up. <laughs> well, that's not yeah, true. But you're, you're still getting used to the. Um, I'm still getting used to our our, our stream the, the buttons. The buttons. I have buttons here on this. I, the cord's not long enough to reach properly. There we go. Uh, on the stream deck, and so I'm still I'm still figuring it out, and <sighs> I failed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but go left a little bit. More. <laughs> I think it definitely though, um, it helps. I it think does it makes help. It and like, helps. And, and it feels like I don't see it, but it just feels nice to have. It it is nice. It feels to have. professional. It does. Yes. It does. Now, if only I could use it in a professional. Even though we're far from it. Anyway, and we're like welcome. planetary sunbursts. <laughs> Long. Um, the ending question marks. The ending question marks. Ending question marks. Never know what's going to happen. So, is that going to be the, the title of this episode? Okay. Will this end in a question mark? Will it? It might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome to the Hangover, everybody, yeah. where we are at least uh, one drink in for some of us yes. and a varying strengths. And I now have the deep dark of space. Ooh, how, how tasty is it? It's Pumpkin-y? Really, it's Does it really, taste yeah. like fall? Is, is that the one that I tried? I don't know. This is the pumpkin uh, coffee stout oh. by Elysium. They also have just the their sta- their pumpkin stout. Elysium. Oh, okay. They uh, Elysium's the one that makes my favorite imperial cider. Yeah, um, you're gonna like wh- it because they have an imperial yeah. pumpkin ale that's really good, and then the regular uh, pumpkin ale is really good. I don't remember the imperial cider. It might be just called Elysium, but it has a giraffe with a space helmet on, nice. and it makes me so incredibly happy. Nice. But it's like nine percent apple cider. It's fabulous. Nice, mm. nice. You know, I just changed my uh, my Xbox gamer tab, gamer image. Did you tag image image, not my tag, uh, to to an astronaut helmet, and it just made me so happy. I'm an astronaut riding a unicorn on my gamer tag. Mm-hmm. I I think I'm a blank profile on my tag. So I don't the, yeah, you oh, no, 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 I'm you sorry. The... I'm, I'm on my on my triangle. Uh, yeah, you're you're like orange trapezium. Thing. Yes, of uh, my p- politically incorrect statement triangle. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I wanted to change uh, change my gamer tag mm-hmm. to AstroPunk, but Microsoft you wanted ten dollars. Yeah, yeah and it's and probably taken. Like, AstroPunk's probably taken. Oh, probably no, well, sure. well, yeah, be AstroPunk and some numbers, but uh, um, but I didn't want to give Microsoft ten dollars because they have you enough give them money. enough money. <laughs> yeah. All, all right, do. so I, I took some notes during the show yes. on what we should talk about during the Hangover. Um, so we're going to get to the Lord of the Rings spider story later, because what I feel like we should leave off with See, is, the, is the falling into a black hole playlist. That's why I take yes. notes. Okay, yes. I was thinking about this while I was taking my bathroom uh, so, so let's do, like, what, three songs, but we'll do a round robin of oh. Mike first, and we'll go around one song, one song, about one song. songs? I was thinking about just... A band, what are you thinking about? Just putting a band. What I'm putting band a band would, on? Okay, what, okay. What I would listen to in, je- uh, in a... It's even... Okay. Overarching. Okay, well, I'll start then while I let you think on that. Yeah, Because yeah. I don't have so- a song per se. And I was thinking because, well, we're seeing Tool in like two weeks. And so uh, I've been on a Tool kick to just go through okay. all their stuff. And I feel like the, the that Tool actually could work well while I fell into a black hole. I was thinking I didn't want anything like... You know, it, it, like to fit the mood of a black hole, falling into a black hole, Pantera wouldn't really work. But then again, I'm done. Di- I'm gonna die. So what would the last thing I want to listen to be? Might be some Pantera. There you go. There, there you go. Right. So, um, in that sense, then maybe I would want a little like uh, uh oh oh actually now that I'm uh, thinking you, you know, while I'm talking, you, uh, you can come I'm, back. Is there three songs. There are three songs. Keep okay, mind. okay. Well, I'm thinking one song could be Cemetery Gates by Pantera yeah, well, because I'm going to die. And that's a song I would love to have played at my funeral. funeral so. Yeah, is Cemetery Gates. So this is your funeral. Um, So this would be the funeral <laughs> song. Although I was thinking just for, you know, if I wanted the just for atmosphere of falling in a black hole, like a, a, a God is an astronaut or an explosions in the mm. sky would be a good mm. atmospheric tone for that event. Right. When, when you don't quite understand the lyrics anymore because your body's decomposing mm-hmm. within the intergalactic mm-hmm. of space, yes, yes. So you don't want the atmosphere. You want that atmosphere. Uh, but for the first song, maybe you want some lyrics into it. Okay, so yeah, so the first song would be Cemetery Gates and then it would transition into maybe an instrument, instrumental uh, you know, God is an astronaut or explosions in the sky kind of a feel of a 
uh, uh, thing happening there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Or just tools, uh, enema off the enema album for, uh, you know. Oh yeah, a little enema of the state maybe. Uh, Mother nature and and. <laughs> All right. So my first song mm-hmm. in the list would be No FX Leaving Jesus Land. <laughs> don't have to worry about Jesus you don't, anymore. You don't. You don't. You're not gonna get Leaving the song stuck in my head again. Cheers. <sighs> Yeah. There you go. Oh, you're just doing one song and then you're. Oh, you're no, no, we're doing, doing Grand Robin. Oh. We're going to come back to him later yeah, on. We're coming back. Yeah. Oh, right. I, right. I so, went on a whole diatribe. So. No. So I, I, I thought about my first. I thought I had a diamond in the rough, but then I thought, no, this is even better. Okay. So I'm just going to just do the first line for you, and then you'll know. Home is behind <laughs> the world ahead. Oh, uh, it's oh, perfect. Oh, that's okay. good. Oh. That's good. We is, is that what Pippin? Is that what Pippin? Until the stars are all the light. That's what Pippin sings. Yeah. All right. Stick we, shadow, we cloud and fade. Shell. For a hangover, right? Oh yeah. Oh Ooh. well then. I'll drink. I'll drink that one. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. No, we don't. My original thought was a theme to Isengard. Dun 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 dun. But then I went in the path and realized that. Singing that song would just be perfect. All oh, fading. By the stars. way, that song there is a uh, there's a band called Nile. It's an Egyptian death metal band, and there's a song that they have. And I can't remember. It played the other day when I was playing Spotify, and they have a, a portion of it. It's called like Seven Horns or something, and they have a portion of it that sounds exactly like that part in Lord of the Rings mm-hmm. for just a bit. I gotta find it. Anyway, sorry. All right. So, All right, so now we're, now we're back over to Liz. So number two, two out of three. Oh, okay. So I'm mean, into a black hole. I, I and and by now you feel the gravitational pull, the speaking of the patient beginning to slowly take hold. Like, you know, okay, we're going to end soon, but I still have my cognizance yeah. belt. Oh, you know what? I just thought of it. You know what's happening then? It is Descend the Shades of Night by Machine Head. This okay. is an epic ballad. Uh, it, it, it's a very, it's a long song. Mm. Uh, it involves acoustic guitars and non-acoustic guitars, and it's just, it's one of my favorite, it is one of my top songs, and definitely one of my favorite Machine Head songs, which is a Bay Area metal band. Uh, and so I think that would be Which actually, Bay? Florida Bay? Canada Bay? Fuck off, the only Bay that matters. <laughs> San Francisco, Bay Area. Uh, and I, Descend the Shades of Night is, mm. would be would be in there and that would actually probably last you know i mean what time slows down for me so that would be i mean it's a good probably seven to nine minutes it's a long song in fact i'm gonna look up how long it actually is right now but all right so you ready for me to shock you a little bit oh uh is wait wait is okay. it spoonful of medicine spoonful of sugar helps, helps medicine go down <laughs> that would be actually <laughs> right <laughs> kind of fun no, I think it would be... Camelot? Uh, oh, shit. Mm. <gasps> Wait, oh, I don't want to play it. Camelot! It's a 7 minute and 44 minute song. Oh, okay. 7 minute and 44 minute Well, this one's 13 song. minutes. And oh. <gasps> Rhyme and Ancient Mariner. Rhyme and Ancient Mariner. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good on so many levels. I, you know, maybe you can kind of start with that one, but uh, it, it kind of all depends on... Hold on, you can get to it. Uh, in, a, in a second, but okay. it all depends on the black hole we're falling into. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be one of those big monster black holes. Yeah. So it gives me more time yeah. where I can enjoy the entire uh-huh. entirety of the song. Yeah, it's like 13 minutes. It's 13 minutes, <laughs> yes. Uh, because oh. I absolutely love the poem. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't say it correctly. Oh. Hey, Jack. Hey, can we play later? He'll play. He'll play. Uh, you might hear some sounds. It's Jack. But anyway. Not Jack, but Dog Jack. <laughs> um, yeah, I absolutely love it. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's an epic story. And, um, you know, it's. And Iron Maiden. <laughs> Iron Maiden actually um, just made it an incredible. T- took what I love and just made it even. Just took it to the next level. It, it's they are, a great song. 
They are good. Uh, my mom says in, in chat that her song would be The Sound of Silence. That's a good one. All right, yeah, which one, though? Like, but which version? Is it the... Uh, is it Simon uh, and Garfunkel? Or now, I... Or oh, or? I you, don't, you don't know the name, do you, Liz? You don't I, know the names. I... No, I dislike Disturbed a lot, but that is a decent song by the no, cover no, by them. No, they do a really good job with it. They do a really good job with it. Also, I just thought I just thought of that also a good song could probably be um, Johnny Cash's version of Hurt. That would oh. be a very good one. Oh, That God. would be a good one. <laughs> oh, damn. Now I have so many to think about. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's so, it's very uncertain. All right. So, of course, I can go instrumental, but I won't bore you with the, uh, the explosion in the sky stuff. But I think as spaghetti, as bifurcation is slowly beginning to set and spaghettification is occurring, um, I feel the Pixies, where is my mind, will be oh, astute. Because you don't know where, where it's at. That mind. That's true. You're breaking up. You know where your mind's at. That's true. Where is my mind? Or maybe, or maybe all you want is a Pepsi. Ooh, yeah, institutionalized. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that's I, this is what I would be doing if I'm falling into a black hole and I got Spotify access. I am just shuffling through songs and trying to find what hits, <laughs> and, like, then, and then I'll hear I'll song. hear a little bit, and then I'll be like, "All right, next," and then I'll like, just keep shuffling until I can't shuffle no more. That actually is a really good idea. Now when you hear, yeah, you hear all the. All right, so you got, you got your last song now, Liz. Oh God! Now, like you're fairly, you don't know what the hell is going on. You're basically dead, but you just want this to descend into your soul as you die. Oh, God. That's actually one that I would might want to send to the shade tonight. But let me. Now you can I go two different thought, ways. I yeah. just thought of the most ridiculous song I could choose. Is it the Animaniac country no, song? No, but it is. My heart will go on by Celine Dion. Oh, that's so perfect! <laughs> Until it does it. Until it does it, because it's just ripped. To and trash. my last right, but it would be remembered. My last in information. Piece together thoughts would be um, the Titanic. <laughs> that's magnificent. I think that's a it perfect be, answer for you. And they could have both gotten on that goddamn door. <laughs> uh. Right. I really can't choose between three songs. And one of these is your fault. Um, Hurt, which is an solid. But, solid. But it, it, it has to be Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, I mean, like Trent Reznor just gave him the rights to it because it was yeah. such After what he an said, yeah. amazing uh-huh. version. Yes, yes. That was the last song you, he I mean, released before he died, too. You could also go with Nine Inch Nails Closer if you want to, just because <laughs> that's what that black hole is about to do to you. Just fuck you like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's that. There's also Bad Religion Suffer, because that's going to happen <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah. But That's but, not the song that's been in my head, though. So yeah, No, not Suffer, Sorrow. Sorry. No, 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 no. You've had. Oh, I've had infected. Has... I've had infected in my head. By that. Infected, but they also played sorrow. Yes. Which uh, they didn't play suffer. At yes. By the way, by the way, bad religion sorrow. You can take a listen hey. to it. I, uh, for the longest time in my brain, because I didn't know what the lyrics were, I thought sorrow was. I just my brain just made so- sorrow Sauron. So excellent. Even better. Um, I like, actually enjoy it more when I I'm say Sauron. I do want the song changed now to where it is. Sauron. <laughs> Sauron. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but all right. So, um, hurt, suffer, but you know why not have some fun? End of the world as we know it by <laughs> REM. Uh, I feel fine. You I know what? Yeah, I I am surprised. You know what? I thought of that initially. Yeah, but that's I had that one on yes, my list. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> uh huh. Just go out with Michael Stipe. Because it's the end of your world. Mm-hmm. And you gotta. Bird snakes in the airplanes. Birds Ooh, and snakes. Brian. Fucking motherfucking snakes. Hurricanes. All these motherfucking planes. <laughs> but you know what? I feel fine. I feel fine. My mom says, "Help" by the Beatles. Help! I need somebody help. Yep, that's a good one. 
And mommy, you don't want to go into the black hole of panicking because there's no escape for you. So you might. That's as well true. Accept it's acceptance. Face. It's, it's, it's yeah. something to accept. I know. Well, is All she right, in it? Oh, she is in it. There's Leia. She is in it. Go log in. Uh, right, we could do yesterday if you want to dream about what was oh, yesterday. My. Yeah. Friends. All the worries behind you, mm-hmm. it works out. Mm-hmm. Or just a little, this is goes to my limited Beatles knowledge, but just Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, because you might as well just be high. Yeah. And well, <laughs> Oh, God, I, I, I hope I'm not right in the mind when I'm falling into a black hole. No. <laughs> it's the paint itself. Yeah. Would you even feel it, though? Because you'd be in shock. No. Well, it you, depends. You would. Yeah, because it's not like it's going to be an instant bifurcation. It, it takes it, time. It, it also depends on the black hole. If it's a and small, the velocity, stellar black yeah. hole. You'll feel it, but you won't feel it long. Mm-hmm. If it's a larger black hole, like at the center of the Milky Way, but your body would go into shock, so you wouldn't wouldn't feel it. I would. I, I think. Well, but but going into shock is going to happen after you feel a lot of pain. Yeah. So. Did you pass out? <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much. So, so I mean, you. you so it's a fall, fun time, everybody. You wanna, Excellent. You want to fall into the supermassive yeah. black hole just because you have longer for the playlist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, shuffle. Have a good time. Yeah. Um. All right. So the next one on the list. Um. Let's do preferred method of planetary death. Like, how do you want the Earth to end? All right. Uh. Yeah, we can include black holes in this. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what? Honestly, I mean, that's, I think it'd be fun witnessing a supernova. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking supernova. But especially the champagne variety. I like. I do. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Oasis reference, everyone. <laughs> uh, but I do like the. I just got to hold Bill's hand here. I do like the catastrophic cliche nature of an asteroid impact. Is you that know? because it reminds you of an iceberg hitting a ship? <laughs> There's enough room for Mike. On that if they door. hit it, if they hit it head on, the ship wouldn't have fucking sank. Anyway, all right. So because not enough bulkheads would have been filled, because when they turned to the side, it allowed the iceberg to cut down. But would lessons have been learned that more lives lost later on down the line? Well, maybe actually, but uh, okay. <laughs> all right, so which one are you going with? So I, you know what? I, I love like, how you're holding the I know, hand. I'm holding so. Bill's hand. I'm, he's my moral support, Bill, in this episode. Do I need um, to be dough? No. I need a moral support. I have a moral support Smeagol. There you go. <laughs> Who am I met, mind you? I know! Um, so, uh, yeah, the asteroid impact, because it's like, I, I don't know. I think I want the effect, instead of just like, oh, look at this light show where radiation is going to kill me. I think I want to see I see this asteroid come in and be like, all right, everybody. And then it's like at the end of Rogue One. Almost when oh, you know yeah. it hits, and, and, and plus you you, you, you have in. you have the additional morose satisfaction of saying, "Hey, motherfuckers, we told you to put more uh-huh. in the science, and here we are." Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, but also uh, with an asteroid, you actually have a greater chance of surviving it. Well, there's also nuclear. Weapons, Unless you're Elijah Wood, a deep impact, uh, that's the whole thing. Oh, uh, uh, well, hold on now. You uh, actually can go underground. All right, so if if a supernova happens, you will. Oh, but you're gonna starve. Depends. Yeah, you're gonna starve it, either way. Yeah, either way, you're gonna die. Good. We don't have the we don't have the infrastructure set up for. Unless we befriend the mole people beneath the mantle of the earth, then we have a chance. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, but but I'm gonna go with asteroid impact or common impact. You know, just one's a little colder. All right, so so get all, is is that your infatuation with an Armageddon with the lead actor in there? Yeah, and then I can <laughs> get some animal crackers and to eat it, eat the animal crackers. Uh, while, uh, uh, while it's what is that song? What is that song going on in the background? What, the, I don't. Oh, is it, it's not. Um, it's not the theme. It's song. the Aerosmith song. Well, the I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to miss a thing. No, that's weird. Yeah. That's stuff. That's, that's at the, the end, end right? That's the Where end they're crackers, like touching but, TV screens. I mean, I'm, I, you know. I, if you want to walk animal crackers all over my body while the asteroid's impacting, then okay. But <laughs> I would just be sitting there eating. On the Serengeti, we have a giraffe. Their, yes. <laughs> I would just eat them out of their little carnival box. But uh, all right, all right, there, yeah. Owen. All right. So, question: How do you eat? Uh, by the way, my answer is super first. But uh, at how first. do you eat an animal cracker? Is it head first? Head first. It's head all first. right. That's, yeah, there is like one, only one way. Like gummy bears, head uh, first. Well, okay, well, it, de- it depends because if you do head first and one gummy bear, then it doesn't matter. All right, I, I have a whole philosophy in having gummy bears. <laughs> we gotta get some gummy bears. 
Anyway. <laughs> oh, we do have to get one of those. All right, Brandon. Yes. How, what would uh, whatever the question is? How would you, what was your what's your planetary answer? death? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so we have the black. We have black hole. We have asteroid. We have gamma ray bursts. Uh, we have super giant, red giant. But climate change technically counts as one. Oh God, this uh, is too slow and painful. An yeah. Um, no, no. This is galactic. This, I mean, you know, this is universal. It's not. This is not man-made causes. Yeah, I want something that where we can see it happening. We can see it for like two days, and think <laughs> there's no way out of this. Yeah. And then must. like half the, half the population is gonna be like, oh, don't fucking worry about. It. They go to work and shit. Like, I'm gonna take PTO. Right. I'm gonna have a great time. Yeah. I'm gonna drive to see people. Like, I want to have those two days to enjoy myself yeah. while it's is about to occur. All right. Um, that does actually raise a good question, though. All right. Do you want to do or do you coming. not? Asteroids coming. Yeah. It's a year out. What oh, do you shit. do? Well, let's look Every at. Don't look we up. We gotta go to Disney. We gotta. Um... Okay, but you need money for that. <laughs> Jack? All right. <laughs> Dude. That's what credit cards are for. That's what Dude. credit cards are for. Yeah, I, I, got know, right? I got a good limit. I got a good limit. Do you quit? Do you quit your job? Yeah. If uh, I'm gonna 100, if it is a 100 percent chance of dying. Yeah. All right. So this is what I do. I might be. No, never mind. Jack, wait, really, really, really quick. I love Jack's. Wait, wait. You let me, let me, really quick. Uh, Jack has the best best method. Gummy bears. Um, he teaches genetics by cutting gummy bears and sticking them back together. It is macabre, but fun. I love that. <laughs> Jack, I love that so would much. Would you be? Would you be the? Would you be Kruger in Archer if you watch Archer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great, though. I do like that. That's well, fun. We have to, uh, there's no episode we have to watch. <laughs> uh, um, oh, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. I, I don't know how Jack's going to take that, though. <laughs> Krieger. Krieger is his name. Krieger. Oh, I said Krueger as yeah. in Freddy well, we, Krueger. Yeah, we, uh, I know. That's what you had to say. But you know what? You know what? Yeah. Be honest, though. He cuts him up like Freddy Krueger. Well, uh, Freddy Krueger has a, uh, many, slice, me- many methods. One, two, but, slice, uh, three, know, claws slice. are not a clean slice. Well, you don't need a clean slice to still come together. That's true. Anyway, anyway uh, where are we at? What did you choose? Uh, uh, I I did it. I just so want like two days. He wants to know two days. He wants two days advance warning at the very least for whatever the at least I would like a couple rock. more so I can fly to somewhere else other than Salt Lake fucking city. Uh, so I like a couple more days. Mm-hmm. All right. So another question: Where would you go? Arizona. Be with mom. Uh, um, unless we navigate to yeah, I want to see Scout. My puppy oh, dog. I want to see Scout. Yeah. Okay, hey, Becky, you away? From, imagine you being away from Jack. Like, you want to go see oh, Jack. God, that's where I'm at. No, I'm going to see Jack this week, folks. I'm so excited. I know. You can, Jack, I, I mean, it's a really hard question. It's a really hard question because yeah, you can sound like a complete dick with it mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and go, I'm going to freaking Disneyland uh-huh. and just not no. see your family in any kind no, of way. I, I don't want to uh, spend my life waiting in lines. <laughs> but, you know. Like no, we we talked about this one time. But will I think most people when, not go to Disney. When, when we were when we were living in Ogden, um, we discussed this in one drunken night. Um, I think it was okay. You have like twelve hours. I think the decision was just getting a shitload of food, eating everything, drinking everything, and driving off some like really tall mountain and just enjoying the fuck out of life for twelve hours. That sounds that sounds great. Spring. Yeah. Oh, Mike! Sh- Mike shaking with laughter. Something happens. We broke him again. <laughs> Why in one day? Oh, uh, Jack oh. looked up Doctor Krieger. First picture is a shirtless guy wearing a lab coat riding a rocket, and I'm like, yeah, that seems <laughs> about. That seems like it would be. Oh, now I gotta. Do we have? Are we allowed to show that on uh, this stream? Well, it's the hangover. Yep. You know, what are they gonna do? Cancel us? Well, legally, I'm just saying we're gonna get like some cease and desist. That's fine. Oh God, what? I don't get. Oh, I. This is the picture. This is definitely. Wait a minute, let me see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it up. <laughs> I don't Wait, know. Wait, no, it's glared. Oh, yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Lucky, Lucky Yates is the, is the name of the guy who voices him. And he was a fabulous follow on Twitter before Twitter went to hell. God, wow. I'm so mad at Twitter going to hell. There's well, so much fun. Anyway. Blame billionaires. Anyway. Yes. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I mean, it depends on how long we have. Mm-hmm. If it's 12 hours, we get a bunch of food. I, like, I, we, I, we, I didn't answer it. 
we go to bed. Yeah. And and hang out. Yeah. And you know, sit outside. The end of the world. Have some drinks. <laughs> I will just get completely hammered. Mm-hmm. So that I don't really have to feel anything, yeah. but can enjoy everything. There's no hangover the next day, guys. Yeah. Mom, I'm going to get you and Dad some weed. I'm sorry, but you're going to have some weed <laughs> for the end of the world. We'll, we'll, we'll get them some gummies. <laughs> we, well, we can give Leia so some, some gummies as well. Yeah, yeah, I do have some CBD dog treats for Leia. It helps, because yeah. uh, the dog that thinks Baxter, super anxiety, gave him some. It helps. Like, yeah. He chilled out for a yeah, couple hours. Yeah, she'll chill out a little bit on him. Yeah, but you know there would be there would be some FaceTime with with parents. Okay, and, but you know. but this is the question of uh, what do we want to do when the death is occurring? We want to answer what preferred method do we want the world to end by? Yeah, I didn't answer it. You did not. No, I did well, not. We tried to get to you, but we did because this is a hangover. We got sidetracked. <laughs> yeah, we got so side My mom just preferred. acquiesced to trying. <laughs> Oh my god, I want a, I want a rogue black hole coming by the solar system and it just so happens to bypass the so Earth's So the whole trajectory. world gets spaghettified? Yes. That's what I want. <laughs> All right. And we're going to know what, why is the moon changing orbit? Oh dear lord. <laughs> that's it. That's the only warning we have. Like Jupiter is kind of a miss. Like that's weird. Asteroids are like slightly declining. Oh, what's going on? And then we realize, oh, there's a black hole 1.2 million miles away. It'll be here in 3.5 days. <laughs> All right. It reminds me of when I made an error in a script for pro- programming a planetary show. Where All the, time. the error that I made was like, it was like, uh, I forget what happened. It was like a, everything, like the sun was like a black hole and everything was like sucked into a black it was like the craziest weirdest error i made in the script but had like the coolest effect but i couldn't keep it yeah <laughs> so i had to oh yeah. fix it but it looked like the really the coolest Me- thing meanwhile ever. the next day on the system help the earth is gone <laughs> what have i done uh my mom just wants to blink out and we're all gone she, okay. she wants the uh she wants a little thanos uh snap yeah, action yeah. Oh, okay, so asteroid, rogue black hole. Mike, what do you want? Oh, I already said supernova. Oh, but okay. you know what we haven't even thought about? We're thinking too scientifically and logically. We haven't think- thought about I- aliens. <laughs> no, no, no. Give, no, give me, no, give me one. The universe is trying to kill you. Oh, all right. But technically, life is the universe. But let's, let's go down this road. All right. There's yeah, never been... but, but then that hole opens up the door of human cause shit and... This, okay. That's why I say All right. right. Yeah, that's a line. That's okay. a line. Fine. No more attacks. So you leave now, the show. now, life. How, how does life want to kill you? Well, maybe it's a bias in the media, but no alien life has taken over the Earth in any movie that I have ever seen. No, They've gotten close. Yeah, because we okay. want to All always right. win. But <laughs> let, let's, say, let's say they they will. All right. Oh, for, that's gonna be, it's going to be alien, it's gonna be alien small pox wipes us out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it but yeah. actually, ways. actually, this would be the war of the world shit. Our I small mean. box would. Oh make them yeah. Out. But okay. No, no, no. So, so this is nothing that makes me angry about people saying, "Well, aliens have visited the Earth and crash landed." No. Oh. If they have this interstellar technology to visit the Earth, they're not going to crash land in fucking Nevada. So I have the same issue with our microscopic biomes interacting with their genetics and destroying them. No, they would know enough to have a microscope. Send this robot down there. Look at it. Like, no, we have all these things to, you know, vaccine ourselves for. They'll be fine. Oh, okay. So you're saying that they're going to do a scouting mission. I think they'll be smart enough. They'll have the retrograde down. If they have the technology to travel interstellar to our. I I like that Mike got the laugh. All right. Beyond all that, what you. All right. So I think it would be great to just have a big alien party. While they shoot the little laser beams at you, like Independence Day, uh, where they, they literally had parties and most tests. But, but it's like that stripper lady who it, who went to the top of oh I, I the think building it was, in Independence Day, and they're like, yeah, I think that it was, was Will like Smith's Power wife. Oh, sorry, no, no, she goes, no, 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 she was a stripper. She was in the a, movie. No, the stripper was Will Smith's wife. It was a different. It no. was a different. Sorry, no, no, no. no she, I, I, it was a stripper. As, as, as she said to the president, "Exotic dancer." It was her. It was her exotic dancer friend. But no, she she worked with yeah she worked with Will Smith's so wife. She was a stripper, yeah, um, and exotic dancer, whatever yeah, you yeah. want to call. It. And so she goes up to the top of Tower Records, right? Uh-huh. She holds up the sign, 
Um, you yeah. know, and come and pee, something like that. Yes, yeah. we come and pee. Or uh, yeah. You know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. I maybe it was a maybe it was a part of time. I, think, I don't know. I think that's the way to do it. It's just just have a party. <laughs> uh, welcome our alien overlords. <laughs> it's got to be friggin' better than what we're doing. Um, and uh, you know, just just have a party. Yeah. I I, I do I think that let's show the aliens that we like to party. Yeah. But to be honest, we would have that party here in Oak Ridge. <laughs> no one's coming here. And nobody's coming here. It is, it, and we have a chance of surviving That's this. True. And, you know, I pet I pet you for like five minutes. So do a lot down. I believe the word is a pet. <laughs> I, oh, sweet girl. We, I have previously pet you. I have previously pet you. Don't, um, don't take my drink. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Excellent. I mean, there's lots of fun ways we could all die. Here on Earth, as a species universe, together. As a species together. Yeah. As long as we go with our dogs. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Or the dogs live. Well, it was a black hole. Then. They. I mean, I, I'm sorry. Like my dogs. So, no. One yeah, dog. No, one dog fair. in my life would have lasted. All right. Uh, but the other dogs would oh, not have lasted. That's fair. That's fair. Our dogs would not last. All right. Long. Yeah. What about Corona <laughs> Mass event that drops all our satellites out of orbit? It's not gonna drop then out. it's then can we go back to it's the? It's not gonna drop them out of orbit. No, I mean that's not no. So not technically drop out of orbit. They will fry them electronically and they'll decay then, faster then, than otherwise. Then I will learn how to churn butter. Uh, no, no, but 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 then you almost have to think if that actually does happen. It's not like we just use Instagram and social right. media. There was by the place we lose electronics for hospitals, yeah, right. all these right. emergency we, systems. It's, it's, it's actually a huge deal. It's a post-apocalyptic. Uh, Scenario. Okay, so who yeah, becomes Negan? I, I do want to for anybody who sees the chat I'm back over there. that the satellites are not gonna drop out of orbit from no. the CME. It it won't happen. They'll be fried. But they're we'll still lose. but they're still experiencing that inertia and No, no. no? Well no not not, not, not even that. that. If anyone could churn yeah. butter, I can. <laughs> Don't even fucking talk about the pet tardigrades on the moon, Jack. What are you doing with this? So yes, the tardigrades oh, no, will survive Jack. on the moon because their electronics do not. In- mm. What are you doing with me, Jack? Do we have some like spooky constellation spor- stories to talk hey, about? You know, this is we're about ready to wrap this up. I haven't to talked about my Lord of the Rings spider story yet. Right. Oh, okay. Let's. Okay. Let's, no, that, that's not I, that's not important though, because that's already in the lore. That already exists. So there is a dearth of uh you know scary constellation stories with mm-hmm. ghosts and shit like that mm-hmm. but there is this is not true in any kind of way i want to emphasize this it's this not is on true. A, a satirical website not true that uh satire yeah. This is sad. Uh, Kate, Katie's just joining us. Katie, oh, my God. Katie. Where oh, we, okay, my God. let's restart the podcast from like two hours ago. All right, Welcome to it. Cosmos of Cosmos, everyone. I'm Mike George. I'm here to uh, lead this lead, lead today's episode. And I'm Brandon. I'm here. Hey, he's Brandon. I'm so lit. <laughs> and everyone's on time. And I won't be here in two weeks, so, but whatever. All right, so... Um, <laughs> This is not true. This is sat- satirical. It was okay. a satirical website. But I just thought it was great because like so many comments about this, why are you yawning? Because I've had alcohol and that's just what happens. Liz! <laughs> um, I would love to see this made into a movie. And it well, probably has. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to read it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. This comes, this is called And this is my title. (laughs) I've had drinks. It's my title. You wrote this before you had drinks. No, I did not write this. This is actually... No, you created the title before you had drinks. (laughs) A knock on the space station door. Oh, the Tychonauts! Which actually was going to be my drink name. I would knock right now, but it would rile Jack up. Knock, 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 I-S-S. Oh, that's a great name. So, this is Barry Wilmore. Uh, astronaut. Um, all right, so it's Butch. Brandon. No, no, sorry, sorry. It's not. He, he goes by the name Butch. His name is Butch. Butch right. Wilmore is his call sign. Right. Butch Wilmore. Butch. I have a story about Butch, but not so for this. For after, after after the hangover. Okay. So I'm just gonna read it. Okay. And I I really want this turned into a movie. And like I said, I'm sure it has at some point. 
All right. So how do you make this great? I can't. All right. Can you um, see it? Well, the thing is, is like I, I have contacts in, so I can see the chat, and this is fucking with me now. <laughs> you never know true beauty until you see Earth from space, or terror until you hear someone knocking on the space station door from outside. You look through the porthole and see an astronaut, but all your crew is inside and accounted for. You use the comm to ask who it is, and he says, he's Ramirez, returning from a repair mission. But Ramirez is sitting right next to you. Oh, shit. I know, right? Uh, in the command module. And he's he's just as confused as you are. Why are you yawning? It's an amazing story. When you tell the guy... When you tell the guy this over the radio, he just starts banging on the door louder and harder, begging you to let him in, saying he's the real Ramirez. Meanwhile, the Ramirez is inside with you, is pleading to keep the airlock shut. It really, it really, really, really puts life on Earth into perspective. Butch, so Butch was the first astronaut I got drinks with. Oh shit! Oh, so yeah. I, I, I could, I could, yeah. That's definitely something that he would do. You gotta, but no, you gotta ask the questions. You gotta ask the questions only Ramirez would know. What's yeah. your favorite color? <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> I. What? All right, so I do want to say that never happened because. I, I don't want somebody listening to this thinking that really fucking. That, that, that would be the most me, terrifying situation, right. though. Let me let, let me tell a, a, good, a good story here. I know, whether it was a butch or another astronaut, I, I hung out with a few times. Which okay. is, so here's here's a cool story. Um, so after we did a little ceremony, we we're in Florida. We we're at the astronaut beach house, uh, which is where the Apollo astronauts and shuttle astronauts would go before the launch. They would hang out with the families. They would get severely drunk together, have really good food, go swim in the ocean, and just have a, a last good night on Earth. That's what you and, before and after the yeah. fact. And in the basement, um, I'll, I'll send you guys pictures after this. In the basement, uh, there are these glass stands of all the alcohol bottles every mission. And so all these bottles have stickers or like handwritten notes of what mission it was from. And so it's always like wine, wine, wine. But when the cosmonauts are there, when the Russians are there, um, oh, it was popped up. Yeah, it was about the bottles. It was really cool. That's cool. Vodka. Yeah. Um, so, so in any case, uh, so we do an event at the astronaut beach house, and then when we're done, the astronauts like, "Hey, let's go, let's go get drinks." So it's me and this other intern. So yeah, so it's just uh, the two interns and the astronaut go to meet them at a place called Fish Lips. If you're curious in Florida, fabulous location. Um, it's in Cape Canaveral. <laughs> And we get there, and we're just hanging out with the guy. We're having drinks. We're having some snacks. We're just kind of chatting. And I'm trying to keep it professionally cool. Like, you know, I've been here before. I know what I'm doing. I'm internally freaking out because here I am. Mm -hmm. But then after a little bit, my other, my other, uh, uh, the other intern finally asks, what's it like being in space? Which is what we all want to know. But I can't ask. So she, she asked that, and then the astronaut he he takes the drink, leans forward, and goes, "Fucking cool!" <laughs> nice. And he tells us all about it. It was fabulous. Nice. So, in, in prep of this, like one of the websites that I read was mm -hmm. top ten like horror stories from space, mm -hmm. and it really is like the experience that astronauts have. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it you know it talks about like <laughs> like. Uh, yeah, toilet issues and and and, and you, how difficult. You don't want toilet issues in space. Uh, what was it? Apollo fourteen had, had the uh, loose nugget. <laughs> they had oh. a loose nugget. Yeah, it's in the flight oh. transcripts. So you can read about. You oh, can read about it. No. Oh, but I, actually, it sounds like Apollo twelve. That sounds like an Alan Bean thing. <laughs> well, yeah, but it talks about like uh, oh god, what is his was name? Was it a loose bean? Oh, peen in a suit. Oh, oh, oh my God! There are so many more stories. Uh, he's one. He's first astronaut. First astronaut launch um, for for U.S. Um, oh, for the uh, U.S. Shepard? No. Glenn? Alan Shepard. No. Uh, yeah, it was Shepard and Glenn. Shepard. Who? Who's Shepherd. the first one? Shepard. Shepard. Shepard and Glenn. Was he? He peed in a suit. 
I mean, he I was sitting but, on, oh, oh, okay, yes. Yeah, so, so it was Alan Schiffer sitting on the launch pad for hours upon hours, hours and, hours and he had too. to go pee like no other. I mean, I uh, so but if he had to go, if he had to get out of this, the, the you know the system and the rocket, they would have stripped the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So he goes, okay. He's he's talking to the ground control. Can I go pee in my suit? Because I really gotta go. And ground control doesn't know the answer, so they actually have to go talk to the technicians about it. And they get back. It goes, uh, "You are a go for pee." All right, <laughs> here we go. A go. I might just start saying that to myself every time. But you are a go for pee. Um, <laughs> but it's talking about like a, a <laughs> rocket ride up. Uh-huh. How like it? You know, is is insane. Uh, oh, but, oh but nobody would trade it for anything in the world. Mm-hmm. But like how also that like wasabi got loose in ISF. Wasabi. Yeah. Wow. Like, like there was an astronaut that was trying to put it on their on their food, uh-huh. and it it just got loose and like it, it smelled of wasabi for a couple of days and stuff and and all that kind of stuff. And I, you know, it was it was, it was great. Yeah. There's a lot, but, a lot of, a lot of cool up, stuff. I ended up taking it out. Uh, but well, I mean, you know what they say in space. What's that? No one can hear you scream. <laughs> Alien reference. Somebody what? I know his favorite it. movie. How was that? All right. Uh, so, so also the last planetary Mars. So, if you're curious, because we're in the Hangover, uh, Midland, Texas, actually has a really cool planetarium. Go check that place out. It's really neat. Uh, but they. I take everything back I just said. Don't listen to what I'm saying about what they're going to show at the end of this month. But go check them out at the end of this month. I have a, I have a, I have a. Spooky, I don't know how licensing works. I have a spooky, spooky story. What? I have a spooky. So do I. You first. Wait, my story might be your story. What's your story? Tiger nuts. What? All right, tell your story. No, do your yours first. Tiger nuts. Tiger nuts. So, tech, so you have astronauts, cosmonauts, and tiger nuts. Taikonauts, so cosmonauts is with the, the Russians or the USSR, mm-hmm. and taikonauts is with Chinese astronauts. Oh! Um, I don't know what India is going to call their astronauts, but I'm excited to hear it, because they have a, a, a capsule being built at the moment. They can launch soon. I'm excited about that. But they have taikonauts. All right. Um, in China. Story. Creepy story. All right. So taikonauts, I forget what the Chinese space capsule is called at this time. All right. Um, anyway, Continue. But yes, they only have one. They have one Ash, one Taikonaut up there, and he's just living his life up there in space by himself. So here am I sitting in the tin can. That whole situation. Uh-huh. Um, and he tells a story of literally, like uh, Barry Wilmore said, hearing a knock. Mm-hmm. Like he actually tells a story of he hears a knock in the main door, and he goes to look and sees nothing, of course. But he's confused because in space there's no sound. So he hears this knocking sound. So, of course, that means something is vibrating throughout the space station. So he goes to look, which is weird, but sees nothing at all. And this is a story he repeatedly tells. It's not just like a, a, a Wilmore story, uh-huh. saying it for fun with mirrors. This type of saying, I heard a knock, and I went to go look at it. Wow. Could it have been a, like a micrometeorite? Well, <laughs> they had different not, pops. Not, not. They had different pops. Mm-hmm. Because astronauts and ISS can hear them. I, I mean, that is the creepiest place to hear an errant knock. <laughs> <laughs> also, speaking of kind of creepy things, when the astronauts are on the ISS and they're like sleeping with their eyes closed, if they get hit by any solar particles, their eyes flash, even though they're closed. Oh, yes, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack says he thinks India is going to call them Gaganauts. Gaga is Hindu for sky. Okay, two things. That's cool. great, but also... Gaga knots? Lady Gaga. I That's know. so in, cool. In America, it has a different That's like saying Swifty knots. <laughs> Swifty knots? Oh, God. We anyway, don't what's your story? Oh, yes, my story. And, this, and then we're going to call it. Yes, it takes place in a planetarium. Far, far away. Nope. <laughs> well, On a... now, yes, but at the time. <gasps> it was 10 a.m. It, it, my... it was around 10 a.m. in the morning. And a planetarium presenter is giving a planetarium show to a little girl and her family. <laughs> and the show, of course, is involves, you know, what do you see in the sky? <laughs> what, what, what pictures do you imagine in the clouds? It's a 60-foot dome. The lights are down. It's dark. 
the presenter sees nothing but the family in front of him and what is on the dome <laughs> above him. And so he's talking to the little girl, and he asks her, what do you see? And she says to him, what's that behind you? The presenter turns around, as there should be nothing behind him, yet there is nothing behind him. And he turns back to the little girl, and he goes, nothing. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll see you. Well, that's not how it ends, but yes, okay. <laughs> Oh, that was a brilliant ending. Actually. Oh, it was great. It was great. Just slightly more. But yes. <laughs> See you next time. I I remember the story. <laughs> that was great. All right. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you in two weeks. Join us for High in the Sky in two <sighs> weeks, uh, where we talk about what's up in the November sky. And then we'll see where. Or maybe see you. Takes us. Or yeah, we'll, we'll see you then. It. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, well, see, see, see you on social media. A week or two weeks. Yeah, we might have a show next week, next Sunday. We'll see. We'll let you know. It'll be on social media. Yes, because we will have a visitor join us. My God. It might be. Oh, well, God, I forgot the... I forgot... Okay, never mind. Anyway, it anyway, might, it might be a we'll, we'll, we'll see when we see you. Uh, pay attention to X slash Twitter. Or <laughs> Twitter. Whatever. We don't yeah. play the next game. Follow here. us on Twitter at Drinking Cosmos and everywhere else at Cosmos with Cosmos. We'll see you next time. All right, cheers. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.